We've had a wetter than normal October, and in fact, it ranks as a top three in terms of uh, the wettest of this century, basically since 2000. But right now, across the Trinidad and Tobago, as we get into November, dry skies should prevail for the most part, and this will obviously bring a lot more sunshine, especially across the hillsides of Tobago. There's only a few clouds that could likely bring a couple of showers during the mid-morning and into the afternoon, but overall, it will be a tranquil day for you in Tobago. Similarly for Trinidad, looking for long spells of sunshine for the most part, but obviously as the heat builds, the clouds will likely build as well. There's a slight chance of a few showers that could turn heavy or thundery, but overall, we should be looking at a mostly dry weather as you go through midweek for Trinidad and the Tobago. Now, what does this mean that temperature-wise, we could be seeing a warm 33 likely in Trinidad, 32 likely in the Tobago. But if you're heading to the beaches, the Met Service does warn to exercise caution in those long period swells coming from the north. And it will continue to do so from the north northeast precisely at 12 seconds with a few white caps around and one and a half to two meter wind waves expected as you go through your day and for those heading out to sea looking for your high tide at 2 p.m now for the rest of the week it seems as though mostly settled tranquil weather is likely the dry air will continue to be a factor and the ridge will also put a cap on most of the rain clouds only a few cloudy spells likely and maybe a few afternoon showers from time to time so that's your weather, and that's for me.